I don't there's any team from week one to week two that flipped the script more than the Titans. Going deep downfield for Jones. He's got it! Julio with wow. the catch! It feels good just come out of this game with a win, with a team win. Henry on the right side, looking for him, catch back to the left. I don't think nobody expected us to come out here and um, get a W. Runs into Diggs, runs into the end zone. Henry was just on another level. Play fake, Wilson with a deep drop, in trouble, being chased, sacked! Just a great win, you know, we talk about finding out what type of team we're going to be when facing adversity, being down. We knew what it was going to take, was just go out and execute. Kick! These Titans! Yes! Ah! Tighten up, dog. That right there in the second half is our identity. So believe in it, practice it, preach it, demand it out of each other. That crowd is loud and proud and glad to be here because we're coming off that win, right? Welcome one and all to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith, but I know why you're really yelling. Look at this guy right here, Chris Johnson! <laughs> Mr. CJ2K, how are you, sir? I'm doing good, I'm good. Oh man, it's good to see you. Glad, glad In the to be hot here. seat tonight. So how you been? I've been good, just chilling. Yeah, just, just, chilling. just chilling, taking it all in? Yeah, enjoying retirement life. Rested? Yeah. Now, I've heard you say, I heard you say this, we, we talked some while, a while back, uh, you missed the game a little bit, but, you know, the next day you wake up a little more refreshed. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> <Right>. exactly. <laughs> when you play them games, you wake up the next morning, body hurting, yeah. aches and pains, so I don't miss that at all. Don't miss that part of it. I no. get it. I get it. All right, well, it's funny that you're here, Chris, uh, because coming off this win there in Seattle, I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but the last time the Tennessee Titans went to Seattle and won was 12 seasons ago, featuring this guy who on that day needed 128 yards to hit 2K. He got 134 <laughs> and became CJ2K there in Seattle. Obviously, you remember that day, Chris. Talk to us about that environment and, and going into it, knowing what you needed and, uh, and getting it. Oh, man, it's crazy. Anytime going to Seattle facing a 12th man, it's going to be a tough task or whatever. And for me to have to go in there for the last game, for me to need 2,000 yards, you know, we knew we had our work cut out for mm -hmm. us. But, you know, we we believed in ourselves. We knew what we can do, what we've been doing all year. Um, we haven't been stopped all year. So just going to, like, our confidence levels through the roof. So yeah. we went in there and did what we had to do. Absolutely did what you had to come out with a win. And again, that was the last time that we won in Seattle. Uh, you also carried the ball for 30. He had 36 carries in that game, similar to a uh, running back that we know so well now who carried for 35 times in this mm -hmm. last game. Uh, so glad you're here. Let's get into it uh, and let's do some uh, hot takes with CJ here and talk about this game that was. So we're one and one now. Yeah. Coming off this win, and obviously we did it again with a running back, this time with Derrick Henry. Yeah. Uh, he's so much fun to watch. Different player than you uh, in a lot of ways, but in one aspect, the speed. Mm -hmm. The speed. So what do you see in Derrick and, and how we put this game away, basically on his shoulders? Yeah, basically on his shoulders. Um, what I was proud of with Derrick a lot, everybody knows he's going to run the ball. They're going to keep giving it to him, giving it to him until he breaks. Like, he's such a big guy. You got to feed him, feed him. But how he was able to help out in the passing game, I think he had six catches. Career high whatever, for him in a like game. Six catches, like 50 yards or something, somewhere like that. Yeah. But that just show you that the the offense is trying to get him involved in the passing game because yeah. after you go for 2,000 yards, they're just going to put everybody in the box and try to stop you. Everybody know you got to stop there and you got to stop him. So getting him involved in the passing game and out in open open space, they ain't gonna do nothing but make the offense better. Exactly. I mean, Ryan Tannehill throws for 347. He had a touchdown, but the rest decided to take it away from Julio. Uh, not not quite no. sure what happened there. No. Yeah, yeah. We can boo. Uh, but Derrick Henry was the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Hats off to that guy. Um, 
41 overall touches, uh, but it but it was, uh, I believe, Ryan Tannehill getting it uh, in the air to Julio, to Derek over the middle, yeah. uh, and that, which opened things up for Derek there in the second half. And you can see him wearing down. You watching this game, I mean, because you know the game so well, mm. you, can you see them wearing down? Do you know when it's about to pop? Yeah, you definitely can see them wearing down. And that's one thing as an offense, like, especially when you got somebody like Derek, you got to keep handing the ball off, handing it off. But I like the way what the offense is doing. Um, like you say, Tannehill had 40 passes. Mm -hmm. Derek had 36 carries, so it's kind of even. It's like yeah. a 50-50 run pass. Yeah, pick your I'm poison. Probably, yeah, pick your poison. Probably before that, it probably was probably 70-30. Yeah. 70 run, 30% pass. Now, for it to be 50-50, and that also would help Derek out in the long run. Yeah. Extend his career. Exactly. Uh, and then Julio. Julio, Julio. Uh, yeah. It's why we got him. He yeah. showed up and showed yeah. out. Uh, yeah, so it is. It is It is becoming this pick your poison yeah. uh, kind of thing. Obviously, the offensive line, they stepped up, gave Tanhill the time mm -hmm. uh, to throw the ball, uh, really get it in there. And another uh, uh, unsung hero, Randy Bullock, kicker. <laughs> Four for five for field goals, three PATs, and, of course, the game winner. Um, we have a kicker apparently. Uh, yeah. you know, no, it was uh, it was a huge, huge team win, uh, and the guys. Uh, and, and it's hard to win there. Yeah. Hard to win in yeah. Seattle. Definitely. Yeah. So did it bring back memories watching this game? It definitely brought back memories. <laughs> to go go there. Uh, you know it rains there a lot. So. But to have went for two thousand yards and seeing what type of game Derek had. Yeah. And then just to see Julio. Just have the game he had. You know, everybody was expecting for him to come out week one and do that. But right. sometimes it takes time. This is first year here. Yeah. Um, first time with uh, Tanner here. It takes time, but he's going to be all right. Yeah, he's going to be all right. Yeah. And, and uh, real quick before we go to break, are you jealous, though, that uh, Derek gets one more game than you had uh, in the season? <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. A little, bit, a little, a little bit. one extra. Yeah, a little bit. One extra. All right. Well, uh, there were plenty of uh, great moments from the game. So as we head to our first break, take a look at our Nissan memorable moments. Stick around. Titans Blitz with CJ2K. We'll be right back. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry just went 60. Wilson being chased in the end zone. A Dady grabs him in the end zone. This is a 36-yarder to win it. Snap, set, kick, go! Yes! <laughs> yes! How about these Titans? Yes! Excited. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance hanging out with CJ2K. Uh, we are still feeling that win on the road. Who's been to a road game before? Let's, let's hear it. Make some noise. Yeah. Road Warriors in the house. Uh, I love it, though, now in this day and age, they go to the game, they post the videos online, and, uh, well, I scoop them up and put together packages like this. This is uh, some celebration at the game and at home. Take a look. This is a 36-yarder to win it. Young man from Klein, Texas. Here we go! Snap, set, kick. and his wife Tracy they went to the game they traveled camera up there uh, we love you guys you know we, we love these stories from the road look 
Two-Tone Nation that you just saw, that they're over here right now. They're in the house with us. So look, wherever you are, wherever you go, you know these moments are coming. You know guys like this are gonna give it to you. So when you feel it coming, start recording, post it online, hashtag Titans, hashtag Titans Blitz, whatever. We will find it and uh, pop it on the show. So uh, thanks for cheering along. All right, moving right along. Uh, do you, by the way, do you wish though that you played uh, at, the, at the social media era? Like yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wish I do. I yeah. wish I do. Just, just for the highlights. But I mean, yeah. it, I feel like there's more scrutiny. Not, not just for the highlights, but on the on the business side of things, you can make so much money off social media. I see. I like when, what you think. Yeah, yeah. When I was playing, like, yeah, when I was playing, it's only on on the TV commercials. That's it. But social media, it's a whole different ball game. It's changed everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's changed. Yeah. It's changed everything for yeah. sure. All right. Well, uh, I love this segment. I'm glad we brought it back. We've asked uh, some of our young local artists to, uh, well, to see what they can do in drawing up portraits of, uh, of you guys. And, well, see how good they look and see if our guys can see who their teammates are. Anyway, here's take a look at now at uh, Vague Van Gogh by 10-year-old Jake. <laughs> Oh yeah, this cool right here. Hmm. He's a big jack player. Okay, now this one. Muscles. Got some big muscles here. Got the tattoos going on. So I see they, they went overboard on the muscles. And the only person I know walks around the locker room looking like that is Jeff Simmons. Beard. The hair is starting to give it away a little bit. Nice little short on the sides, long on top. I'm gonna go with AJ Brown. The fade top. I think it's AJ. I mean, this is a well done drawing. I guess he's handsome. Rashawn. Are we thinking Harold Landry on this one? Harold Landry. Oh man. <laughs> Harold Landry, the third. Oh, wow. And this one, Harold. <laughs> and it is Harold Landry. 100% still. Now that I think about it, he is pretty damn good looking. Uh, myself. Back here with here at Nissan Stadium. We've got a live and rowdy crowd here with us, but it's time now to pause the action on the football talk and play everyone's new favorite game, the go ahead and roll it. It's almost Halloween, so I hope that frightened you a little bit. We, <laughs> we spent half our budget on that. Alright, so with me now here, I've got uh, Rick and Connor. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Good. Rick, uh, so you're from Mount Juliet? Yes, sir. And I understand you're a uh, founding season ticket member? Yes, sir. Founding season ticket member. Thank you. All right. A lot, a lot of time spent here. Yes, sir. And over here to my left, we have Connor. You're from Mississippi, but you live in Nashville now, and you're a yep. rookie season ticket I member. I am. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. I am. Okay. Been a fan for about 10 years. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. All right. Well, I'm just kidding. It's not trivia. It's now arm wrestling. Everybody up? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is trivia. Uh, let's get to it with the first question. We'll go back and forth. Uh, you won the official Rock, Paper, Scissor contest off camera, so Rick is going to take the first question here. It is multiple choice. Here we go. What term is typically used for the group that includes cornerbacks and safeties? Is that the border, the backfield, the secondary, or the flat, Rick? Secondary. It is the secondary. One point to you, sir. Connor, you see how we play this game? Yep. It's pretty easy. All right, here we go. Second question. How many interceptions did Kevin Byard get at Cleveland in 2017 to tie the franchise record for most in a game? Was it two, five, four, or three? Uh, I want to say five. You want to say five. I wanted to say five as well. Uh, how about you? That is incorrect. Rick, can you steal? Three. It was three. It was, in fact, three. I wish he had five. I wish he had five. Always wish. 
All right, Rick, you still have control of this game. Uh, the Titans are the only NFL team to have two running backs surpass 2,000 yards in a season. Derrick Henry and I'm not going to give you multiple choice. Chris Johnson. You better get that. The man's standing right over there. CJ. All right, Connor, you got to get this one here. Moving on, next question. What was the first year in which the Titans, then called the Oilers, played games in Tennessee? The first year that the Tennessee Oilers played in Tennessee. Was it 95, 96, 97, or 98? 97. 1997 it was. All right, all right. Moving on, Rick, here we go. Question number five. What is the typical term used for a receiver who lines up on the inside of an offensive formation? These questions are getting a little harder. Is that the slot, the tight, the skinny, or the edge? Slot. That is the slot. Congratulations. The rest of those, I think, are jean sizes. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, all right, Connor, here we go. Question number six. To sweep the AFC South in a season would require how many overall victories? Three, four, six, or eight? That would be six. That would be six. No, no, no. That will be six. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right. Rick, question to you. In one other sport was wide receiver A.J. Brown drafted by a professional team. Would that be soccer, baseball, basketball, or lacrosse? I'm going to go with baseball. You are going to go with it. Glad he didn't. Glad he didn't. All right, moving on. Final question. It's worth two points. Connor, we're going to go to you first. How long is a football field from the back of one end zone to the back of the other end zone? Is that 100 yards, 110 yards, 120, or 140 yards um, total? Let's see, it's 120. 120, and Rick, what say you? 120. Also going with 120, you both got it right, but Rick, you're in the lead with six overall, or seven overall points. Connor, that's four. Rick, you got the game. A round of applause from a man Rick right here. <laughs> What did you win? Well, since we got him here, we thought we'd get CJ2K to autograph this football for you. So there All you go. All right, thanks. One hot eye for you. Round of applause for Rick and Connor. Thank you for playing the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Listen, we got to talk about this Colts game, so stick around. There's more Titans Blitz on the other side. We'll be right back. Nissan Stadium. I'm hanging out with the one and only Chris Johnson. Uh, before we get to talking about this game real quick, uh, I want to draw your attention to this right here. Look, it's in these uncertain times. Families are uh, uh, turning to food banks uh, more and more. We're trying to help them out. September is a uh, hunger action month. So the Titans have teamed up with Kroger. This is very cool uh, to support Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee. Basically, uh, when you check out, we invite you to show your support by rounding up to the nearest dollar. It will benefit Kroger Zero Hunger, uh, the Zero Waste Foundation, benefiting the Second Harvest Food Bank. You can see there on your screen, secondharvestmidtn.org. You can get more information about this, but uh, uh, that's all you got to do to lend a hand. Just round up to the nearest dollar and you can help out uh, tons of families all across uh, the state. So visit that website and help out. Now, let's, uh, let's move on before we uh, leave the show. Let's talk about this game. Chris, I want you to put on your coaching hat. Mm -hmm. You're coaching the Titans going into this game, taking on the 0-2 Colts. What is your point of emphasis? Um, don't sleep on them because we know Carson Wentz. We know he's hurt. Right. He's out with his injury or whatever, but they still got um, Jake Jonathan, you know, Jonathan Taylor. Oh, okay. They got him, and they still got um, Pittman Jr., mm -hmm. pretty good players or whatever. So defense got to step up, and I think um, we, in order for us to win this game, A.J. Bryant going to have to step up. Okay, yeah. okay. So and we're expecting a comeback game from him. Yeah. He knows he dropped the passes, uh, some, you know, they weren't all easy passes, but he right. dropped plenty of balls in this game. He's going to turn it around. But you mentioned it. Don't sleep on them. You know, Eddie's often talked in that very chair about right. these divisional games and how it doesn't matter what the record is. Did you right. always feel that playing? Yeah, yeah. It don't matter what the record is or who playing or anything like that. Like, everybody on the roster been drafted, um, was probably the best coming out of college and stuff like that. Um, it happened to, to us a few times when I played. We going in somewhere and we playing the backup quarterback and we think it's just going to mm -hmm. be an easy game and we go in there and take the L just because 
we sleeping on the team just because their backup quarterback is playing. Yeah. So that's the main thing you can't do. So as of right now, Seattle means nothing. Focus everything you've got on this game. Hey, it is a divisional game. I want you to show up, be loud and proud. It's uh, Love You Blue celebrating Oilers history in this game. Uh, CJ2K back with us. Thank you so much for being here, man. Yeah. It's good to see you. See you more this season? Yeah, yeah. You're going to come back? Cool. Yeah. We'll rack up more of those wins. Also, uh, if not for some crazy wedding 48 years ago in Nashville, uh, Jim and Leona wouldn't have gotten married and I, you wouldn't have a host in this show. So happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Uh, tighten up, everybody. Tighten up. Let's get that win Sunday.